Hello, you guys. Today we're gonna to talk about using the one-to-one -one property of logarithms to solve log equations. So first, what is the one-to-one -one log property? It basically says, if you have the log base B of M and that equals the log base B of N, note they have the same base, then that means M's gotta be equal to N. Sounds like common sense, right? So we have four steps. The first thing you do is you wanna write the equation in the form of log base B of M equals log base B of N. Um, the logs have to have a coefficient of one before you can invoke the one-to-one -one log property. And you may have to go back and use some of your other log properties that we've learned. After you do that, you set M equal to N using the one-to-one -one property. You solve for the variable. Some of them could be quadratic, so you might need to factor, use the quadratic formula, whatever you're comfortable with. And then you just want to check your solution and make sure whatever you're plugging in for x or whatever variable, m and n have to be greater than zero because you can't take the log of zero or a negative. So let's get started with some examples. <clears throat> All right, for the first one, we have log of x plus 5 is equal to log of 4x minus 4. I don't see the base, so the base is 10. So we're gonna go ahead, they've got coefficients of one and use the one-to-one -one log property. So because of this, I can say that x plus five must be equal to four x minus four. And then you just solve this equation. So I'm gonna subtract x from both sides. I get five equals three x minus four to get rid of a minus four, I'm gonna add four. And of course, five plus four is nine. The undo multiplication we divide and we get x equals nine divided by three is three. And look, if I plug that three in, three plus five is eight, four times three is 12 minus four is eight. I can take the log of eight and that's cool. So I'm good. The solution is three. All right, let's look at the next one. We have the log base four of x plus five equals four plus the log base four of x minus four. So that four, is a problem because I just need log of Booyah on this side. So what you need to ask yourself is, the log base four of what number would give me that four? Because I need the log base four, that's what I've got. And that's easy to do. All you need to do is think of the exponential form. Four to the fourth power is equal to 256. So for this, I can write, the log base four of 256. So now let's rewrite this. We'll have the log base four of x plus five is equal to the log base four of 256 plus the log base four of x minus four. Well, when you have logs with the same bases being added, I can condense it and change it to what operation for these two things? That would be multiplication, right? So now I have the log base four of x plus five is equal to the log base four of 256 times x minus four. Now I can use that one-to-one -one property. Because of this, I know that x plus five must be equal to 256 times x minus four. Then it's old school easy math, right? Distribute. I get x plus five equals 256x minus 1,024. I'm gonna subtract x from both sides. That'll cancel. Five equals 255x minus 1,024. Now to get rid of this, I'm gonna add. All right, and then that'll be 1,029 equals 255x. To undo multiplication, we divide. Sorry about that. Let's go over here, I'm running out of room. So we have x equals 1,029 over 255, and I, of course, wanna reduce that fraction. I can divide that by three, the numerator and the denominator and that will give me 343 over 85. If I plug that in, I'm taking the log of a positive number, so I'm good. So that is my one solution.
All right. Let's look at another one. All right, so we have the log base six of x minus six equals three minus the log base six of x. We're gonna kinda of do like we did on the previous problem. I wanna get rid of this. I need the log base six of something. So the log base six of what would give me three? So think about it in exponential form. Six to the third power is equal to 216. So for this three, I'm going to use the log base six up to 16. So let's rewrite this. So now we have the log base six of x minus six is equal to the log base six of 216 minus the log base six of x. Now this time it's subtracting. When you subtract logs of the same base, what can I do with these two things? Instead of multiplying, we will divide. So we have the log base six of x minus six is equal to the log base six of 216 divided by x. So now I can use the one-to-one -one property. This means that x minus six must be equal to 216 over x. I'm gonna multiply by x on both sides. That'll cancel, distribute. So that'll be x squared minus 6x equals 216. I see this is quadratic, so I'm gonna move the 216 to the other side. That'll make it negative. And when I can factor, that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna factor to solve this. So I'm gonna have an x and an x. The signs are different, the boss is negative. I want factors of 216 that subtract to give me six. That's going to be 18 and 12. And then of course you set these factors equal to zero. So I'll have x minus 18 equals zero and x plus 12 equals zero. And that'll give me x equals positive 18 and x equals negative 12. All right, but remember, I can't take the log of zero or a negative, and if I plug this negative 12 in up here, I would be taking the log of negative 18, and that's a naughty no-no. So this answer is not part of the solution. So the solution is just, whoops, 18. Okay, that one was a little challenging. Let's try another one. All right, we have the log of 4x equals the log of 5 plus the log of x minus 1. Well, the good thing is everything is a log base 10. So I'm adding so I can multiply these two things. So that'll be the log of 4x is equal to the log of 5 times x minus 1. All right, and then I can use the one-to-one -one property. That means 4x must be equal to five times x minus one. Distribute, 4x equals five x minus five. Um, I'm gonna subtract five x from both sides. So I have negative one x equals negative five. The undo multiplication we divide. And I get x equals positive 5. Just come back up here real quick and make sure I'm going to be taking the log of positives. I will. So my solution is 5. And let's do one more. Just because this is fun. Alright, so we have the log base 5 of 6x minus 6 equals the log base 5 of 4x plus 2. So this one is fantastic. Log base five, I can go straight to my one-to-one -one property, the both coefficients of one. So six X minus six must be equal to four X plus two. Subtract four X from both sides. I get two X minus six equals two. To get rid of the minus six, I'm gonna add six to both sides. So I get two X equals eight. To undo multiplication, we divide. And I get x equals 4. Come back up here. 
That'd be 24 minus 6 and 16 plus 2, and I'm fantastic. So my solution is 4. All right, that's it. Have a wonderful rest of the day.